All right, hello Star Wars collectors and vintage toy collectors. I know there's a lot of uh, videos out there on YouTube showing you how to remove the yellowing from action figures. Um, and they also tell you to use between, uh, you know, anywhere from 10% 10 to 35% uh, of um, hydrogen peroxide. Um, I actually went to the salon and purchased what's called Salon Care 40 Volume Clear. Um, it's only $2.50 for a 32-ounce uh, jug, so it's very cheap, very uh, affordable. Um, as you can see here, these are the action figures that uh, began this way earlier today. As you can see, we have a uh, Luke Skywalker and a Stormtrooper. Both are very, very yellow, and uh, you would think that they would be permanently damaged by the sun. However, after reading a bunch of the tutorials, I kind of came up with my own version of a way to bleach the action figures um, using the uh, the uh, Salon Care 40 Volume Clear Hydrogen Peroxide. Uh, the 40 actually stands for the percentage of hydrogen peroxide that is actually in the product. Um, it tends to work very well, and like I said, it's uh, very cheap. It's only $2.50. It was actually uh, two for $5.00. So I got two of these 32 ounce jugs for only five dollars. Um, I actually used a ball jar, as you can see here, to I, I filled the ball jar all the way to the very top, and I screwed the lid on. And there's basically a very small amount of air pockets in the jar itself. If I move it a little bit, you see there's a small air pocket there on top. Um, not necessarily. I, I wouldn't recommend, uh, you know, not filling it up. Um, or rather filling it up any more than I as you see here um, just to be safe and not spill it everywhere uh, make sure that the lids on very tight and uh, I actually turned it upside down so that the entire jar is clear for the light to go through now I know there's a lot of tutorials on on YouTube and everywhere else saying to leave it out in the sunlight however I had read somewhere and actually thought of it myself in a way that would it would actually be easier and uh, more time allowing to uh, actually go out and purchase a, um, a bulb from a pet store. And so I actually purchased this bulb that I used and uh, here's the actual bulb right here, what it's called. It's called a uh, 26 watt reptile, I'm sorry, Reptiglow 10 UVB rays uh, bulb that's actually made to give reptiles UV um, UV rays in their terrariums. Um, but anyways, it reacts just like the sunlight would. So I actually put the bulb, as you can see here, inside of this light. There's the bulb. Very, very bright. Very, very powerful. I actually turned it downwards like so. And in order to get all of the um, different angles on the action figures to be covered with the UV uh, rays in order to bleach the yellow out of them. I actually took uh, aluminum foil and as you can see I used the shinier part of the aluminum foil to be on the inside of the round shape that I created here which actually fits over the ball jar. As you can see inside there's the ball jar, there's the aluminum foil and what I do here is I actually scoot the lamp, let me show you, scoot the lamp over so that the lamp is actually inside of the aluminum foil as you can see here when I uh, step back a little bit. So what that does is it keeps the reflecting of the light all the way around the jar so that the UV rays is hitting every part of the action figure and that way you don't have to worry about just getting one side of it or just the helmet or anything like that. Now one more thing so I can make this video a little bit shorter is I'm just going to show you real quick. Now keep in mind these have only been soaking for about uh, four and a half hours which is not very long and like you, like you saw before this was the original photo of how yellow uh, the Stormtrooper back was and how yellow the front of Luke Skywalker was and as you can see here in the jar I'm going to leave it in overnight still but as you can see in the jar I can get a good glance of it his yellow is almost gone and the back of the stormtrooper is pretty much looking really good right now so there's that compared to the original which was very very yellow and like I said that's only four and a half hours 
So hopefully that gives you guys a good idea of a little bit more, um, or rather a little bit of, of a better way to make sure your figures are fully submerged in the liquid and you are able to get the UV rays to bleach the figures um, all the way around 360 degrees. Thanks for watching.